Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Monica and as you can see for today I have another video. This time is gonna be my uh, final uh, the fun final update for my uh, project pen. Actually I will have two of them, one in this video, the other one in my next video. In the first one I will have uh, skincare and makeup. The next one is gonna be body and uh, hair and uh, just a couple of words before uh, getting into the products because I have a ton of them I wanna say that uh, this is my first project pen and for sure not the last one I learned so many things about uh, actually starting with this project pen I learned so many things about brands, about products, about me first I learned a lot, a lot, a lot, and uh, I realized also how many products I have, what do I like, what I don't like, what works for me, and all kind of uh, things that I didn't even think before. So uh, this was great for me, I use a ton of, pro of, uh, of uh, products. Also I want to mention that when I started uh, this project pen in January 1st, I plan to have this uh, for uh, three months, so I started on January 1st and uh, I uh, closed this one on uh, March 31st. I uh, had the uh, plan initial initially to had uh, to have um, four project pens in this year, each one uh, three months, but I didn't count my trip at that time, so uh, the first one was uh, for three months. The next one I will have, it's going to be for a month and a half about, and then we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, I am glad I did that, because uh, I get, I'm getting uh, rid of a ton of my products from my collection, and um, yeah, I think um, project pens are great. So for this video I will have the skincare and makeup and I'm gonna show you right now I have products that uh, <clears throat> I finished in the last month and a half uh, since my last update so I will show you first I'm not gonna put them in uh, categories because it's gonna take too much it's already 11.30 at night so it's gonna take a while to finish this my schedule is very tight right now, so uh, I have a little bit time at night to film, so uh, I'm making a little bit time actually. But anyway, I'm gonna show you first products that I finished and I had uh, a review for them because they were in this project pen. I'm gonna throw them away and uh, I'll show you what I didn't review and I will review them uh, in the empties. So uh, what I review already, I have them in separate uh, bags because there uh, were a lot. You might uh, recognize some of them because the samples uh, I used in the samples of the week video. I have from my tooth house the hand mask. I have replica from uh, as fragrance, and I have to say that I finished a ton of products, Dr. Jart uh, Brightening Solution Mask. Actually, I want to say that I finished all the masks mask, uh, mask that I had, excepting uh, three or four lip uh, products. This was the Sephora Rose Eye Mask. I had the um, Nature Republic Multi-Page, Jean-Pierre, the lip mask. This was the Maybelline uh, Master contour, I still have the blush, I decided to throw this away because I have uh, way too many products so it's not worth it. Then I had the Derek Lam uh, 10 Crosby, I have the Niogen mask which I finished and was in this product pe uh, project pen. I have the Bioban Republic uh, eye mask lost uh, baggage, I finished the um, fresh cream from um, Philosophy was a body mist. Also, what I had here, it was the Oxytocin face ma uh, face cream, the mini wipes Emory for uh, nail polish uh, remover pads, the Cuccio hand cream, 
and also a couple perfumes that I did a review in the samples of the week is the Mew Mew, is the Clo Love Story, Guess There, Boss Mavi, and a couple more products in this one. Was this uh, honey and milk lip scrub from a pew? Was this lovely Josie Moran um, Argan uh, Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil? It's completely gone. I just uh, start the um, full size. Also, I finished an eye cream from um, Second Lift and a Tristic. Um, highlighter which is completely gone also so I did already a review from uh, for those and I'm gonna show you now what I finished and uh, I will have in the um, in the empties so as I said I'm not gonna put them in the categories because it's gonna take forever but I'm gonna show you what I finished and uh, I'll review them uh, in the empties is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. Another uh, Spa Life. This is a lip mask. I have in here the Library of Flowers. This is a full size hand cream. For some of them, I still have the box. This was uh, from Opella uh, Snail Ginseng Essence Cream. It's gone. And I hope to not to drop everything on the floor. This one is an eye serum. Eye serum it's uh, poorly powerful. It's a natural eye serum. Some uh, more uh, nail wipes. Also from um, recipe, this is the Moisture Essence, then uh, from NYX Dewy Finish, um, this is uh, the setting spray. This was from uh, Globiotics, it was uh, a serum. I finished a nail product, this one was uh, from Nail Tech, I had a set, is the a rich filler, then an eyebrow gel, this was from, um, I forgot her name, but we'll talk about this in empty, is the perfume, the curve, was uh, then a hair, hand cream from Polar, as I told you, a ton of items. Those were the Pixie makeup remover pads. I also had um, some of those perfume samples. Ulta tinted eye primer. This was uh, an eye eyebrow uh, crayon from um, Billion Dollars Brow. That one is completely gone. Then I had this uh, from Saint Pio. This is the Baobab water, and I think I have a couple of those, not just this one. I finished the review, the reveal um, eyeshadow sample, two of them. This was the my last uh, cream from uh, face cream from Oxytocin. I don't think I have another one. It's empty. Then I finished the. Can you imagine how long it's gonna be my empty, empty video? Then I finished the. This one is the Body Shop uh, Cuticle Nail. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Eyelash Primer. And I have a couple more in here. This was the from Vaseline, the Lip Therapy Original. 
then I had another three stick this one is also this one was a mini shadow crayon in pink pearl gone another perfume sample I finished the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara and a bunch of uh, face masks which I'm gonna review in the empties also lip mask eye mask hand uh, and nail mask feel brilliant mask some of them you saw in the samples of the week and probably I'm not, I'm not gonna go over them again uh, skin Iceland the hydro cool <clears throat> filming face gels this was a Kira Kira soy milk yog soy milk yogurt face mask another Dr. Jart filming solution Zolor Paris this one was uh, acne mask from a shame moist I believe I can see the name it's youth infusing mud mask then um, was a, a body scrub coconut cranberry from scrub love APL facial essence mask this one was makeover mask uh, temptation and uh, pomegranate one so probably I'm not gonna review the the mask I'm gonna check which one was uh, already in the samples of the week so I'm not gonna go over them again but I finished as, as, as I said uh, a ton of them so um, because I didn't have the sample uh, of the week at that time uh, I had those masks in this project pen I'm not gonna put them again my next project pen is gonna be for a short time for a month and a half and uh, I will have just couple uh, items not too many full sizes because I still have uh, a bunch of items that were in the samples uh, yeah in the samples of the week video and uh, those are not done yet but let me know what uh, let me tell you what um, I still have and I don't have um, I think I have just couple products that I didn't have a chance to use and one of them is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I didn't use this one and I realized when you use this one, when you pour this one on the cotton pad, it doesn't last long. But I used this one uh, in a spray bottle. When you use it in a spray, one of these lasts forever. So I had one of these for three months. Of course, I used other samples uh, in the samples of the week but uh, anyway this one is gonna last uh, a lot probably i'm not gonna have um, a full size in my next project pen but we'll see this is one uh, item that i didn't um, i didn't use yet so um, because i fi i finished the other one with the blue cap also i have two cleansers that i didn't finish this is the morning one from uh, Clean and Clear. I am here right now. I still have a little bit. And for the night time, the same. I am um, right here right now. I still have kind of the same uh, amount. So, um, was that one. This, uh, then uh, I had another uh, item, another face cleanser. This is from Naive. It's a uh, Korean brand. I am here right now. I still have this one left, and uh, what else I have? I have this um, uh, exfoliate face exfoliate cleansing exfoliating cream, which I have to say that is amazing. Was a big jar. I still have a little bit uh, here. Couple more usage, so I'll finish this one. I'm just trying to find a place to throw them. Then I had the Misha Lip and Eye Makeup Remover. I have this part left. 
I still have from e.l.f. Uh, primer. I don't know how much because uh, because of the packaging you cannot see how much you used and how much is left. It doesn't matter. I'll finish this one anyway. Then I had the face mist. This is the BB uh, Bloom and Blossom Rejuvenating Facial Spritz. I am quite here. I didn't have the I didn't put the sign but I'm here right now. I don't know if you can see. Also I had the, this set. This is a Korean brand from Scenic. I had the toner. I am about here with the toner, just a couple more usage and it's done. I had also the serum. I am uh, right here with the serum. I still have uh, more than half. And this is the eye cream, very interesting packaging. But because of uh, the way is the packaging, I cannot tell you where I am right now. I have no idea how much is left. So I'll keep uh, using that. Then I had this one which I didn't touch. This is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. This go, will go in the sample of the week. Also as uh, nail products in the, the trio, the uh, trio set that I uh, have from uh, Nail Tech. I have the top coat and it's not much left in this one. I'm probably probably here. I think I am here. I have I don't know maybe five or six usage more. This was a nail treatment. I'm uh, half uh, done with this one somewhere right here. Also from this, um, and I think I'm supposed to have uh, one more from the San Pio. Eco-friendly snail essence. I have to say that I really like this one. I think I use about six or seven. I still have two more left, and then it's done. I'm right here with this one. Just three or four more uh, usage from that one. This was a full-size perfume. This uh, is uh, Eva Eva Longoria. I didn't use too much because I have uh, I had those samples. I am somewhere here right now. I'm not gonna put this one in the next project pen because it's a lot of uh, product and uh, probably in my next project uh, pens I will have uh, items that uh, are already used uh, about half, but we'll see, depend. This was a setting powder from uh, Laguerre Minerals. I used half of this. It's a ton of product in this one. I have pictures with uh, the sizes and whatever, how much I use, but the time is too short, so I'm not going to bother you with those pictures. I have the L'Oreal Magic Anti Redness. This feels so empty, but it's still product in, uh, in this one, and I use this one to conceal my red spots so I'm still using this one not much left in that then I have the Versace Vanitas or whatever how you call it I am um, here right now so maybe I will put this again in a project pen when it's gonna be half done since my um, my last update I didn't use at all the Garnier Skin Renewal Anti-Puff Eye Roller. I should but I didn't touch this one. I have uh, an eye serum. This was an added item from Vivo Perle. I am right here and I have to say that I love this packaging. If you watch my channel you know that I'm in love with this uh, air free pumps. We'll talk about them uh, in another video. I have an eye primer from uh, Shani. It's uh, about half, uh, half done. And I'm trying to go over how as fast I can. Also, I have product, products here that I didn't even touch yet. I have those two fragrance oils from uh, Define Me, which are lovely lovely i have this uh, mono spa rosewood reviving mist this is about 
have I didn't put the line but I will because I may take them in another uh, project pen then I had another uh, eyeshadow primer from memory I didn't touch this one I also have the Garnier Skin Active uh, Clearly Brighter it's the sunscreen SPF 15 I am uh, right here I didn't use this uh, since my last project my last update because I used uh, a lot of sample but I'm somewhere here and I have to say that I like this one then I had the baby skin from um, Maybelline and I am here right now didn't use much of that I didn't touch this one this is the Neutrogena healthy defense daily moisturizer with sunscreen is this one also I didn't use the secret key repairing eye cream because I'm still using from uh, the scenic one and I don't know how long it's gonna last that one and I also have two serums those are uh, not open so I'll uh, take them in my next uh, project pen it's a serum and uh, an essence two lip products it's the tartiest lip paint as you know lip uh, products are the worst in my uh, project pens the worst as uh, I mean I don't use them uh, as much or even if I, I use them there is not uh, much progress to show you so the other this one is um, from NYX and this one is butter lipstick I'll show you I didn't uh, use this one at all maybe once I think I used this once but as I said I learned a lot about products a lot about uh, how much I'm using so uh, I'll be more wise uh, when uh, I'll do my project pens this was uh, a Smith and Colt um, lip gloss probably this is one of the lip products that I can show you some products I I am right here <laughs> not much but it's a progress then this is the general Dell Erardel uh, um, lip balm this is a really nice balm I used half of this I still have uh, half of this so we'll finish that one elf under eye setting uh, powder love this uh, this powder I think I still have here I don't know if you can see maybe two more usage and this one is done also I had the um, setting the under eye uh, primer which I really like to use is this one it feels empty I still have product in this one I don't know maybe one or two more uh, usage what else I had here I'm trying to go as fast as I can this was an LA color um, gel uh, eyeliner I'm using this one right now I still have a product in this one it's not the best but uh, I love the tip of this so I'm gonna still using that one I didn't touch this one this is the benefit uh, gimme brow I'll put this in the samples of the week I had another lip product this is Elite from um, Bare Minerals I use this uh, twice or three times it's not done of course then I have uh, I still have uh, half of um, the nail tech uh, cuticle oil it's a good one with the um, this one is the oh gosh what's the name of this one Maybelline it's uh, instant age uh, rewind era eraser the uh, dark circles I'm uh, I'm half of this done also I had five uh, I had in total six uh, pads from the Neutrogena exfoliating divisor I still have five completely forgot about them then I had the city color uh, primer sp spray in uh, matte finish I am right here with this one as I said before I used this one uh, 
to add my uh, beauty blender or my brushes. Then I had the Too Faced. Um, it's a blush, and this one is Love Love uh, Flush, and uh, looks like this. As far as uh, I can tell you, I use this one a lot. I can see the pen on uh, on the edges here. I'm still going to use this one. I had two lips, lip balms. I use very little product from this one and half of this one. The single thing that turned me down with those two is the packaging because Coop... Anyway... I had a full uh, mask. This is uh, the Granola Goat Cruelty Free and Vegan from uh, Never Synthetic. It's a face mask. Never use it. Then I have the Honeydew Chamomile Overnight Cream Facial Mask. I put this one in this um, uh, container. I got those on Amazon and uh, we'll talk about them in another video. Is the fre the air free pump, which I really love. I didn't finish this one. I just put some of the product in this. Probably I will use it. Who knows? Then I had an added uh, item. It's the Snow White uh, Milky Pack. Also. I put this one here, as you can see I am right here with this uh, and I will still using this one because I really like the cream and copper mold products and I'm done. Almost done with this lip scrub, this was an uh, added item. When I start this, uh, eye sh uh, when I put this eyeshadow in the samples I had a very very small pen in this one it's larger now i like the color i may uh, use this one then was the two faced uh, sunny bunny bronzer which looks like this also what i can uh, show you as progress right now i can see the edges here on the side i uh, when it's full you cannot see that then I had the, still from Too Faced, the candlelight highlighter. When I put this one in the project pen, I was able to see the print on this one. I can see it right now. I like this one. Then I had, um, I still have from the Revlon uh, Colorstay 2-in-1 compact makeup and concealer. And from this one, I finished the concealer. It's it's gone and I hit the pen on the as you can see on the foundation <clears throat> then from Wonder it's uh, which is called barely there I use this lipstick about I don't know five ten times or more but it's still a ton of product in this one another cuticle oil from uh, OPI I am here right now. I usually take those uh, pens in my uh, in my bag, and uh, I use at home those uh, glass jars. Then I had the brow duo pencil from uh, Billion Dollar Brow. It has the concealer and the highlighter. I use this couple times, but usually in my routine, I don't have time for all those kind of details. It's gonna take too long for me and I can't afford it. Then I had the Burst B. This is the Lip Shimmer in Guava. Never use this. I'll put this in the samples of the week. I had the Almay uh, One Coat uh, Mascara. Didn't even open it. I had the Elf. Um, this is the plumper and the primer, lip primer and the plumper. I use half of this, as you can see this one, and half of the plumpers. Then I still have a couple, um, actually I still have five um, lip masks. And because those are different brands, I'm going to put them in the samples of the week. Are those three plus uh, two in this one. 
and uh, a hand uh, mask also this was uh, an eyeshadow from Laura Mercier I am right here right now I have maybe one or two more usage was a really nice one I'll finish that one because I, I like it I'm using right now from uh, 8 Cosmetics the Brow uh, Power Cryon and I have left just uh, this I will continue using this one then I have from um, Wet and Wild I had the eyeshadow here I used this one maybe once or twice not my favor and the eyeliner on the other side so I don't know if I'll still using this we'll see there was another uh, eyeliner define a line this is the chestnut brown from Maybelline I used this just once from Lord and Berry I have um, if I can see was the name of this anyway it's an eyeliner also it's that um, I cannot even see what's uh, what's exactly the name of this but it's from Lord and Berry it's like a highlighting uh, eyeliner that you you use on the corners more on the eye corners so then I had I still have this one it's not much one or two usage from uh, beauty for real eyeliner this is gonna be gone soon and a couple more products and I'm done this is a lipstick from uh, Rimmel I used to love this color and I still like it but it's a ton of product in this one and you know how they work for me the smash box this is in the shade driver seat looks like this I didn't even open that one then I have the lip screen from uh, super goop didn't even touch this one I'll put that because it's a sample in the samples of the week then Ulta from uh, Ulta color color rush lip gloss I used this couple times because I really like the color of that one also I still have a little bit in the Laura Mercier this is the rose gold caviar um, stick eye color and I have this much left also the from the city lips is the lip gloss never use this and also from PMD Kiss Smart Lip Plumping Serum this go to the giveaway to the uh, samples of the week and finally the last product I hope the last product in here it's uh, an eyeliner and this one is from uh, Sense of Season it's the glitter eyeliner I used this one couple times it's not the best one but I still have uh, this much so so I think that's kind of all and was a lot I uh, just for my own uh, curiosity I was counting the items that uh, I had I added and I still have left and I have to say that um, this was crazy I couldn't believe when I uh, was counting them and I got to 199 items and yes it's crazy I know that and also from 199 I have I still have uh, some product in 75 of them everything that I showed you here some of them are one usage two usage or uh, I still have a couple of those that I didn't even open but so far I think uh, I did a crazy job with this it's more than I uh, I would uh, ever expect it to use and uh, not even counting to count the ones that I have in the empties and uh, 
which uh, were not in the project plan. So uh, I will will have a very long probably um, empties for uh, March. I'm gonna try to short uh, as much I can. I'm gonna cut that as much I can. So um, yep. As I said, I still have 75 products, one use, two use, maybe more for some of them. And uh, as I said, I learned a lot from this video for my next, uh, for uh, from this project pen, for my next project pen I will have less products. And for my next one, because I will have less products, I will combine the body and uh, hair with the makeup and skincare and do just one video after this video i will have the update the final update for body and hair and that one is gonna be a short one because uh, i finished all uh, almost all the products in that one i did way better than uh, with uh, makeup and skincare but anyway that's kind of all for um, for this video let me know if you have a project pen, I would really love to watch that. And if you have a big collection or um, not really necessarily a big one, but if you want to get through your products and um, give a value to the money you spend on those uh, products, put them in a project pen and you won't believe how fast you're going to use them. So that worked a lot for me. I also learned how to shop my collection and I'm really happy with the results. So yeah, I'll see you in a couple minutes with the next uh, final uh, update for body and hair. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your patience. If you had the courage to stay to the end of this video, and uh, I will see you soon with uh, my next one. You have a great day. Bye-bye.